She was a cheerleader in college, so she's an attractive young lady. She was peppy, she liked to do things, she was good with the kids. And that wasn't all the trained nurse had going for her. Good family, smart, successful, lived in a nice house. It was just like a fairy tale. But the fairy tale ended one day halfway through her shift at the hospital. She received a call from a friend telling her that her house was on fire. It was the sort of phone call that would horrify most people, but not Shelley. In the morning of the 29th of November, 2005, Shelley Michael, a nurse in West Virginia, was making her rounds at the Ruby Memorial Hospital in Morgantown. She worked in a pediatric area of uh, Ruby Memorial. It was a typical day for her. But Shelley's typical day ended about 11 a.m. when she received an urgent phone call. Her house was on fire. Somebody saw flames or smoke actually coming out of the building. Shelley dropped everything at that point and uh, rushed back over uh, to her house. There wasn't much she could do. The house was fully engulfed in flames. Flames were coming through the roof and out the windows. The children were safe at school. But when her husband didn't answer his mobile, Shelley started to worry. She was crying, wanting to know what was wrong with her house and if Jimmy was around. The mystery appeared solved when firemen made their way upstairs to the master bedroom. They radioed out that there was a victim. But was it Jimmy? The body was almost completely consumed by the fire. I was actually there in, in the bedroom for five or 10 minutes before I realized where the body was. Um, it was unrecognizable. The victim's identity wasn't the only thing in question. No one could imagine why he would have lain there and simply allowed himself to be burned. Everybody thought that it was rather strange that he wouldn't have heard the smoke detectors or anything. And as police officers and firemen sifted through the charred remains of Shelley and Jimmy's bedroom, they would soon be wondering, was this an accidental house fire or a murder? Shelley Angus first met Jimmy Michael at Ruby Memorial Hospital in Morgantown, West Virginia in 1999. At the time, Shelley was married with two children, but she wasn't happy. A troubled marriage was something Shelley and Jimmy had in common. At the time, Mr. Michael was having difficulty in his own marriage. Jimmy worked at the hospital as a respiratory therapist. When he and Shelley chatted in the corridors or the recreation room, marriage counseling was usually the topic. They became friends and just talked about their similar problems with their spouses and they were just kind of a, a shoulder to lean on for each other. Michelle was a flirt. I've heard things of her going around the hospital, goosing people. It seemed Jimmy was more than happy to reciprocate. Michelle was a cheerleader uh, in college, so yeah, she's, she's an attractive young lady. Jimmy had many things going for him, too. His dream was always to be a pediatrician, and he did get accepted into medical school. He probably presented himself to her in that light when he first met her. I'm going to be a doctor. I want to do these things, you know. Before long, Shelley and Jimmy were doing more than talk. Eventually, they decided they wanted to take their relationship to a romantic level. Shelley and Jimmy both applied for a divorce in late 1999. They were married in May 2000, just three months after Jimmy's divorce became final. I was very happy about him meeting Shelly. She was juvial, fun-loving, um, doing backflips in the yard. She was peppy. Uh, she liked to do things. Um, she was good with the kids. Like Shelly, Jimmy came into the marriage with two children of his own. Their girls were about the same age and their boys were about the same age. So it was kind of nice for the kids to blend together. Just looked like something right off the Brady Bunch. 
After the wedding, the Michaels bought a house around the corner from Ruby Memorial Hospital. It was a five minute drive, uh, give or take a minute or two, depending on traffic. The house was convenient for their work, and it was also close to West Virginia University. Soon, one of the Michaels would be back at college part time. But despite his dream of becoming a pediatrician, it wasn't Jimmy. He tread water for a while with her to go back to school so she could uh, increase the level of her education. Shelley gained a master's degree and became a nurse practitioner. She also got back into cheerleading as a coach. Both of their daughters cheered and both of their sons played football. Jimmy was the coach of the football team. Shelley was the cheering advisor for the cheerleaders. But while Shelley was reliving her cheerleading past, her husband had put his ambitions on hold and given up the idea of going to medical school. He chose not to go because he didn't want to miss out on his kids. In 2004, Jimmy left his hospital job and started his own home medical supply business. He opened up a company uh, out near the football stadium and uh, in the hospital in Morgantown called Mountaineer Home Medical. Delivering oxygen tanks to the elderly was a far cry from being a doctor, but it wasn't a backward step financially. They made very good money for the area they lived in. She's got it all. Good family, smart, uh, successful. But Shelley wasn't satisfied. She is the kind of person that likes to be in control. She likes everything perfect. When they left their house as a family, they looked like they stepped out of a fashion magazine. Everything was perfect. Almost everything, that is. Jimmy was a big guy, and uh, he had always had like a weight problem on and off. And he tried to work out, and then sometimes he would, and sometimes he wouldn't. But uh, she started getting negative to him. She was comparing Jimmy with other men that were not as heavy as him, and why can't you be like them? Jimmy's weight wasn't the only contentious issue. She was wanting to go down to part-time work so that she would have more time to spend with her kids and with Jimmy's kids. So they were having a lot of conflict in that area. Unhappy at the hospital, Shelley decided to make art. By 2005, she had begun to explore her own home-based business and had even found a partner, an MP. 